Welcome, our friend in the Dharma. We got five aggregates. Everybody got five, five things. Okay? The first thing is body. Oh, in Buddhist philosophy, we use the word. This is body aggregate. Okay? The second aggregate is sensation, feeling, happy, unhappy, okay? Feeling well, not well, this is sensation aggregate. The third thing is perception aggregate. Your concept, you have a lot of concept, this is perception aggregate. The fourth thing is Sankara in Bali, but in English, is thought, formation of mind, but also formation of emotion, formation of emotion, uh, we call uh, thought or emotion, okay? <coughs> and the last one is consciousness etiquette. So, most interpret into two groups, body and mind. This body and mind. Okay? So, what different? Mind, there are four, four, four kinds of mind. The first three, three mind here are conditioning. Okay? But the consciousness is pure mind. This is conditioning mind. Okay? So, now you are consciousness, okay? Lost. Lost. You don't know. That means when you have thought, you don't know what, 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 what happened. You lost in thought. Consciousness lost, okay? When you have emotion, you don't know. You are angry. You don't know, okay? This is consciousness overcome by anger. Consciousness overcome by, by thought. You think too much. You don't know how long you thought. You have a thought. Two hours, three hours, you don't know. The whole day lost in thought. That is consciousness overcome by thought. Overcome by, by anger or happiness, unhappiness, worry. We call sensation. Okay? And also, you don't listen to anybody. Never. You attach to your concept, and you don't know. You are, uh, uh, you got a lot of ego. You have a lot of self. You don't know, okay? You never listen to other people. Now consciousness overcome by perception. This is the problem. That's why my master said, "Can you just, just want to see?" When, when you are consciousness, okay, uh, uh, in daily life, where is your consciousness? Your consciousness, for example, my master say, just bring your consciousness come to your body. Feel relaxed. <sighs> but when feel relaxed, your body, <coughs> okay, you look at beautiful things, you lost consciousness by eye contact and it form thought it form perception it form sensation my master said you got one liberty liberty as self this is beautiful i like it liberty okay this belong to me i want this one you got liberty okay and when people speak bad to you you Lost to ear contact, you angry. One, the the the, uh, the other liberty. Okay, okay. And after that, you you listen to somebody speak good to you. You very happy. Another liberty. So my master say, your consciousness never be at the present moment with your body, sitting, walking. Okay and uh, standing, 
when sleeping, sleeping, how many, how many liver? Not stay with your body sleeping. A lot of dreaming. <coughs> okay? So that's why my master said, uh, uh, you got very far from enlightenment because you have rebirth in one day, uh, thousand, thousand rebirth. Uh, so then you can realize how far from enlightenment. Okay? Uh, you are very far from enlightenment. But if you just be mindful and awareness of your consciousness, uh, first, we call body consciousness, okay? You feel yourself, can you feel yourself? When people speak bad to you, you're not upset, okay? Can you relax yourself? People speak good to you, you're not lost, okay? Speak bad to you, you're not upset. Now consciousness with, with you all the time. You, you not go to rebirth, okay? Okay, so that's why uh, you can see how progress in the practice of meditation. Okay, if you have progress, uh, you got consciousness, not lost, then you not uh, got so much rebirth as emotion, anger, desire, many rebirths. Okay, so now uh, my master say you should make it into three groups, body, mind, and consciousness. That means sitting, you know, okay? Happy, you know. Unhappy, you know, okay? You have concept, you know, or awareness, okay? Or you got any thought, you know, you got thought or awareness of thought, okay? <laughs> you must free your consciousness. Uh, standing, you know, but, you know, uh, sensation, sensation, perception, thought, uh, they come to you first, sitting, sitting with sensation, perception and thought, standing with sensation, perception and thought, walking with sensation, perception and thought, sleeping with sensation, perception and thought. So you need to be conscious the first foundation, your posture first, okay? Uh, the main, 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 main posture for main posture. Okay? Because all this conditioning mind come to you on the main posture. Sitting, you must know you're sitting. When you know you are sitting, I know I'm sitting, I know I'm sitting and talking to you. You know you are sitting and listen to me. If you know you're sitting, you can see. Now, sensation come, you happy or unhappy. Now you can see perception come, you can't got any concept uh, of yourself, and then you can see uh, uh, you got thought or emotion come, you know uh, via your body sitting. I know via my body sitting. I know my body, I can know and see my sensation. I know my body sitting and talking to you, I can know and see my perception. I know my body sitting and talking to you, I know my, my, my thought and emotion. And I'm not lost because I know the first foundation, my body, okay? I know the first primary object. I got primary object, my body. This is my primary object. Sitting, walking, standing, sleeping. This is primary object, okay? When I know my, my object, the primary object, I can see sensation, happiness, unhappiness, I can see perception, I can see thought, I can see emotion, and I not jump, jump inside, okay? Okay, I know primary object, uh, I know my walking, okay? And I can see I walking with thought, and I not lost in thought. I walking with emotion, and I, I not 
จำอินอิโมชันเดนอิโมชันดิสเพียตอนดิสเพียเดนไอคัมแบ็กทูไมบอดี้วอลกิ้งดิสอิสฟูลอเวนเนสโอเค so that's why the Buddha just uh, let you practice uh, four foundation of mindfulness and awareness the first foundation of mindfulness and awareness is body okay The second foundation is sensation, happiness, or unhappiness, and the third foundation is perception, or my, 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 my as thought or perception. Okay, my, 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 my as thought and my as emotion. Okay, okay. This is my monkey mind become thought, but my this come from your emotion formation. Of your emotion, then form thought. <coughs> you got anger, you think bad. You got happiness, you think good, or something like that. Okay. Uh, and the fourth foundation is your mental quality inside. That is, you got desire inside in your heart. In your heart, <coughs> this is your heart. You got desire. You got desire. You must. You must be mindfulness. And awareness of your desire, okay? Not lost with your desire. If you lost with your desire, you lost and attached, and then make it. It make you suffering. It make you suffering, okay? So now you look at at them. You lost already, because you lost consciousness, okay? I look at her. I not lost. I stay here. Okay, when you let let somebody come in, you lost. You not stay with yourself. Okay. So, when when we understand, we are five aggregates. First aggregate is body. Okay. Okay. Uh, the new person just listen again. Uh, I review again. We are the composition of five aggregates. Okay, the first one is body. Okay, awareness of your body. Okay, awareness of your body, and then the second one is sensation. Sensation is here emotion. Okay, the third one is perception. Your your concept. Okay, and the fourth one is your ah uh, your formation of mind. As thought or as emotion, okay. But the last one is pure mind, consciousness, okay, consciousness. So now today you know body, mind, and consciousness. Now I just can see your eye, you, your eye, very poor consciousness. <laughs> Your eye very really poor consciousness, okay. Uh, and I can see your body, very really poor consciousness. Uh, and my eye and body, no consciousness for asleep, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so consciousness, according to psychology, so consciousness you use consciousness in your mind for thinking those thinking this. About eight to ten percent, ninety percent consciousness sleeping in your heart, in your subconscious. Okay. So, uh, can you smile? This is the first technique to wake up consciousness. Smile. Can you relax your your heart with smile? Relax. Keep inside. Relax. Relax. Okay, and can you keep relax the whole body relax? Okay, and what happen when you relax? Uh, when I take picture, first you look at the camera. This is your mind. Look and watch. Okay, and you see the camera. See me, and the camera, but. When I count two, you smile, smile, smile. You got consciousness, body consciousness. 
when you got body consciousness, it become seeing your face. Okay? When you smile, you see you have smile already. You smile, you see you have good smile because you got consciousness sensing, sensing, sensing your smile. Okay? You never see yourself because you always suffer and deserve not, not smile and loss and anger. Okay? Then you never see yourself. Consciousness will, when you wake up, can see yourself, consciousness. Smile, can you see your smile? Relax the whole body. Relax. When you relax, pain spot, pain spot, pain spot, it becomes sensing, sensing your body movement, 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 okay? Okay? And now I just let, let you just know what different. Now you watch me. Listen to me. This is your mind. Okay? But you watch me. Listen to me. You not see yourself. You don't have consciousness. Okay? You watch me. Smile a bit. Smile from your heart to your face. When you watch me, listen to me, smile and relax inside your heart, and then your face will come wake up. Smile and relax in your heart, then your face will come wake up. Now you can see your, yourself. See what? See yourself, see what? See your smile, see your face, see your posture, see your, see your heart. Can you see your heart? Okay? You see by consciousness. Okay? This is what we we want to wake up. Want, want to develop. To wake up. The enlightened is here. Wake up. Here not wake up. You not see the path to enlightenment. Okay? Smile. And now you watch me. Listen to me. Uh, first, uh, relax your body, relax your heart. Okay? Can you see your body posture? See your heart. Keep relaxation inside. And if you watch yourself, look at the breathing, watch your breathing. Can you keep, keep relax, relax? Up the body relax. Up because this is heart. 90% consciousness is here. But you can start from here. In your mind. Got about 8 to 10% consciousness. But it lost. It become thought. Can you relax your mind in, in, in your head? Can you keep relaxation in your brain? Can you keep relaxation in your brain? And... Uh, when you keep relaxation in your brain, what happens? You can see the calmness. Can you keep relaxation in your brain? You can see no, no thought. You can see your consciousness wake up free from thought. Can you keep your, your mind inside relaxed? Then your mind inside become wake up consciousness. This is about 10%, okay? And you can you keep your mind relaxed, your heart relaxed. Smile here and relax here. And hold relax. What happened? When I count one, you look at camera. You not relax. You stare, stare, stare and concentration on the camera. When I count two, you look at camera, watch camera. But smile and relax. The whole face smile. Then you can see your smile. Can you stay there for two, three minutes and not count three? What happened? Relax on your face. Become more relaxed in your brain. It go inside. It come become more relaxed in your mind. It go inside. And you not watch the camera. Can you watch your breathing? But watch your breathing is your mind. But see, 
see yourself inside uh, the the mind uh, beautiful mind no thought no disturb no disturbance no distraction <coughs> calmness can you see calmness when you keep relax in your brain can you keep relax in your brain in your mind can you see calmness and together watch your breathing in and see the calmness watch your breathing out and see the calmness by your consciousness now close your eye watch your breathing and keep relax in your brain or in your mind in your mind more relax you see calmness there my in your brain more relaxed you see calmness there and when you see calmness watch together now you breathing in or you breathing out watch and see watch in front see inside see in front and inside when you watch your breathing in front you can see your breathing in front but with consciousness you can see inside together okay now practice now for five minutes listen one relax in your mind okay keep your mind relaxed you can see in front you are breathing in breathing out and inside calmness you can see both in front and inside we call non-duality no separate okay now for five minutes Inside, more relaxed, more consciousness, more seeing inside, clearly. You can see calmness more clearly, and it becomes more calmness clearly. Relax in your brain, and watch together, breathing in or breathing out. Relax in your brain and in your mind together. That, that is the way. Relax and keep your face up. If your face down, it's for asleep. Face up, straight, and relax in your brain. Relax, keep relax. With relaxation in your brain, and know your breathing in, know your breathing out, and watch together and see clearly see clearly your breathing and see clearly your mind inside become calmness and more calmness and more calmness and open up with more and more calmness with consciousness your mind open up with more and more calmness open up your mind become more calmness with more calmness expanding more expanding with calmness it got more expanding with calmness in your mind wake up keep your face up and relax in your mind relax in your mind In relaxation, it becomes very light and very calm. Then, in the calmness, watch and see breathing in every moment. But you can see breathing in and see more calmness and more calmness in your mind together. You got seeing both in, in, in front and inside. You're seeing both your breathing and your mind inside. You got seeing by your consciousness, seeing your breathing and your mind inside. Sing, 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 and you no thought. Mind become seeing, 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 seeing. 
my become seeing 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 then my become expanding 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 seeing 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 expanding and unboundedly expanding to emptiness Good mind and good consciousness. Good mind, watch and see your breathing. Good consciousness, see inside your mind. Calmness inside, more calmness inside. Expanding more calmness inside. This is see inside your mind by consciousness in your mind. Consciousness become wake up, seeing, 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 and it become. Uh, like space, space and emptiness. And more relax in your mind. You got joy in your calmness. You got joy in space. Joy in calmness. More relax in your mind with smile. You got more joy in your calmness, and in the calmness with joy, just see now breathing in and see your joy in the calmness together, and just see your breathing out and see joy in your calmness together. Now I bring you to peace inside. This is your home. And just stay inside your mind with quiet. No concept, no thought, no perception. Just stay quiet. Stay alone inside with quietness. Just keep quiet inside your mind, with smile, quiet and smile in your mind. It more opening up to more calmness, more beautiful calmness. Keep quiet and smile in your mind. Keep quiet and smile in your mind, with awareness of your breathing together. Now. You got more awareness in your mind. Become more awareness of your mind and your breathing. In your mind, become awareness of your mind itself and your breathing. Now you don't have to look at your breathing, but you just aware of your breathing in your mind. The calmness. You got awareness of your breathing in in your mind. The calmness. You don't have to. Look or watch your breathing, but you got awareness in your mind of the breathing together. Awareness, wake up in your mind. Awareness of the calmness and of your breathing in. You don't have to watch your breathing, but it becomes seeing breathing clearly and clearly with awareness. It becomes seeing with awareness. How you breathing in? How you breathing out? Now you wake up already, because you got seeing with awareness. First, you not wake up. You have to look and watch your breathing. But now you don't have to look and watch your breathing, because 
you got awareness of your mind, the calmness, until it becomes awareness of breathing in the calmness. Awareness and see of the breathing in the calmness. You got awareness and see breathing in, in the calmness. Awareness and see breathing out in the calmness. And keep joy in your mind. Awareness of breathing with joy in your mind. So much joy in your mind with awareness of calmness inside deeply. And awareness of breathing in your mind, the calmness together. All emptiness and stay quiet and calm and joy in your mind. Stay there at home with calm and joy in your mind. That is your home. When you stay in your mind, it become big face. You got in your mind become big face. Not physical face, mental face. You can realize your mind become big face. Oh, your face so so big, so so bright. It become bright, brightness. Big face, big face become blindness. That is your, your mind. Oh, your face inside, so beautiful. Your face inside, very really beautiful. It's very really bright, okay? See the brightness inside. And awareness in your blindness of your breathing together. Breathing become very soft and subtle in your blindness. That is, I use the word, big face. Your face inside wake up. Or your spirit and soul wake up. Big face or your spirit and soul wake up. Stay in your mind with smile. Nice and sincere with smile in your mind. How to stay in your mind? Just nice and sincere with smile. Smile only. And smile to your mind inside. Turn inwards, it becomes turn inwards. If you smile to your mind, to your spirit and soul, can you smile to your spirit and soul inside? It becomes wake up, more wake up. If you can smile to your spirit and soul inside, it more wake up, more and open up to more spirit and soul wake up. 
smile to your spirit and soul inside. I know where I am from already. I am spirit and soul. You found yourself already. Smile to your spirit and soul inside. And become one with your spirit and soul inside with smile. And in your spirit and soul, you got feeling of your breathing inside. Your body need food, but your spirit and soul need soft and beautiful breathing. Just feel your breathing in your spirit and soul. It will wake up your spirit and soul more and more. Feel with awareness in your spirit and soul how. Nice your breathing in. How nice your breathing out. Just keep feeling inside. You are breathing so nice in your spirit and soul. Your body need food. Your spirit and soul need nice and beautiful breathing inside. More smile to your spirit and soul deeply. Now your spirit and soul wake up uh, 20%, 30%. 70% still sleep inside. Just smile to your spirit and soul. It wake up more and more. Smile. How to smile to your spirit and soul? How? Selfie. Selfie. Selfie inside. Selfie your, your face inside. Selfie your face inside. Your face or your spirit and soul inside. So beautiful. Selfie your face inside. Then it becomes absorbed. And it becomes wake up and absorb into more calmness. More selfie, more calmness. More selfie. More emptiness. And your spirit and soul, just aware of your breathing together. Selfie your spirit and soul and feel in your spirit and soul how nice your breathing is. How nice your breathing is. Don't worry about breathing in or out, don't worry. Just feel awareness of now you are breathing. Now you are breathing. Breathing everywhere in your spirit and soul. Now you got breathing everywhere in your spirit and soul. It looks like your breathing become everywhere in your spirit and soul. As big as sky. Your spirit and soul expanding as big as sky. And it looks like your breathing going into your spirit and soul as big as sky. And emptiness, it becomes spacious. Spacious and empty.
Now, trust in your practice. You got practice more and more from the previous life. Trust your practice. Or trust your cell inside. Your cell with a lot of experience inside. We call in Bali, <coughs> Palami. Palami or the perfection of yourself inside your mind. You got a lot of perfection in your mind from the previous life. Just trust in your practice. In the previous life, you have practiced a lot. Or maybe you have met the Buddha before. Trust in, in your mind. You will connect to the Buddha because you got connection to the Buddha. That's why you come here. And then it makes you more trust in the Buddha. Become one with the Buddha. The Buddha nature, so beautiful, so nice, so blindness. Trust in the Buddha, in your mind. The Buddha not outside, it's in your mind. Buddha Salanang Kachami Dhammang Salanang Kachami Sankang Salanang Kachami Stay there, become one with the Buddha in your mind as long as you can. With trust, you can stay there as long as you can. Just trust in Him, trust in the Buddha. You are become one with the Buddha and you can stay there. That is your home, your pureness, your beautiful mind, your pure mind. Stay there and explore. Explore. Now you know how to explore. Explore in your mind. Explore. Explore inside. Explore inside. Sing and explore in your mind. Sing and explore in your calmness with the mind. Sing and explore in your emptiness with mind. Exploring, exploring with mind. Exploring, exploring with feeling of your breathing in your mind awareness. Exploring with more awareness of your breathing together. Exploring, exploring with more awareness of nice and beautiful breathing in, in your mind. Exploring you can see more brightness, you can see more clearness, you can see more pureness. Exploring, exploring inside deeply with smile.
more absorbed into your mind with <coughs> smile and selfie inside. Selfie your face inside. Your face so pureness inside. Selfie your face, you can see the pureness inside. And awareness of your breathing together. Awareness and see, you got awareness and see in your mind already. Even you don't look, don't watch your breathing, but you got awareness and see your breathing from your wake up mind already. It become awareness and see the whole breathing inside. Smile with trust in the Buddha in your mind. More smile with more trust in the Buddha in your mind. And with right determination to follow the Buddha path to enlightenment. Right determination to follow the Buddha path to enlightenment in this very life. Smile with trust in the Buddha more and more. And just feel in your heart with deep smile from your heart together to wake up 90% consciousness, wake up more and more. Keep relaxed in your heart with smile deeply. Then your heart open up. More open up with smile deep in your heart. Your heart open up, your mind more open up. Your heart open up, your mind more open up. Unboundedly. And explore inside your heart deeply. Explore and letting go all attachment. Explore and letting go all desire and all attachment in your heart. Now mind and heart Smile together, heart and mind, smile together, big smile, to open your heart, wake up your consciousness, your baby sleeping inside, wake up, become fully conscious.
and in your heart with mind and together feeling your breathing in deeply into your heart more feeling your breathing in deeply into your heart will break break through your heart all dirtiness go away And selfie into your heart deeply. Selfie, selfie, selfie. Dirtiness gone. Darkness gone. And the light and the brightness come to your heart instead. Selfie and explore. Selfie and see. Selfie and explore. Selfie and see into your heart now. Selfie with smile into your heart and see clearly. Selfie and smile into your heart and explore and explore clearly. Your heart open up. In the beginning, your heart becomes small cave. Now it becomes a big cave. Open up. Selfie and explore. Selfie and explore in inside deeply with feeling of your breathing together inside. Now your baby wake up, become consciousness. Consciousness with your breathing in and with your breathing out every moment. Now you are conscious knowing your breathing from your consciousness. Wake up from your heart. Just stay consciousness in your heart knowing your breathing deeply. And feel your seat, your seat on cushion connect to earth. Your breathing will connect to earth deeply. Feel your breathing and feel you are sitting on, on earth. Feel your breathing and feel you are sitting on earth. Your breathing will break through your, your, your seat and connect to earth deeply. Feel your breathing with mind and feel you are sitting on earth. When you feel more you're sitting on earth, you are, your breathing will break through and go deeply, connect to earth and body. And then your heart more opening up, more opening up, more opening up. When you feel your breathing into your heart, you got consciousness, see, see things in your heart. We call something we, that is conditioning in your heart. Something that conditioning your desire, that is conditioning your attachment. You can realize something. You can realize something that uh, make you desire an attachment. That is your defilements. Just see depend, dependent origination or conditioning arising. We call dependent origination. It comes from your heart inside. You still got, got something in your heart. But when you smile, all dirtiness gone. Smile and selfie, all dirtiness gone. 
something dirty in your heart will disappear if you smile and explore. Smile and selfie with explore inside. Just smile and explore inside. Now you got seeing conditioning arising, something in your heart that made you suffer, made you attachments, made you desire. You realize something, but it become less suffer, less attachment, less desire. When you realize it, it become less and less desire, less attachment. More, more seeing it, more realizing it, it become going away. Then you become, your mind become freedom of mind in your heart. Now just explore inside your heart, conditioning of rising. We call Patija Sumupabad or dependent origination. Patija Sumupabad is body word, but that is your conditioning of rising. Because you have uh, desire, then you have attachment. Because you have attachment, then you have attachment, more attachment, more, uh, more suffering. Okay? Can you realize something? But when you realize, it become disappear. It become less and disappear. Now you have eye in your heart. Even you open your physical eye, now your physical eye open. You got Dhamma eye in your heart, seeing conditioning arising, seeing something inside that that is a frog, that is a frog that make you desire, make you passion, make you angry. Okay, something inside. Okay, even we calm, calm down the mind and empty the mind and unboundary emptiness. But deep in in your heart, you got. Inside your heart, uh, dirty with with defilement, with desire. You got inside your heart with fire, fire burn you, burn you with anger, burn you with passion, burn you with suffering. Okay, can you realize something here? Okay, this is the goal. This is the objective. To see things arising inside, we call conditioning arising, conditioning arising. When you see more, you can understand your heart more. Why you got suffering? Why you got? Because you got attachment. Why you got attachment? Because you got desire. Okay? Why you got desire? Because you, you got present feeling, so happy or unhappiness inside. Okay? Just more seeing uh, conditioning arising, something arising in your heart so fast arising 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 make you feel good feel bad make you angry make you feel feel passion make you feel disturbed make you feel distracted can you feel something like a formation of mind okay in your heart when you see then you can see 
how it form all emotion. How, how, how? Can you see why, 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 why I'm angry? Why, why I'm suffer? Why I'm attached? Why, why? Then you can see how, how? Because you got desire, because you got attachment. Seeing, seeing, seeing. This is the objective of practice vipassana. Vipassana, we see conditioning arising. But before we can see this conditioning arising, you need calmness first. Ah, calmness. When you got calmness, then, then awareness in your heart. How to awareness in your heart? When you got calmness and smile and relax in your mind, just feel deep smile. Then your calmness will go inside. Your brightness will go inside when you feel deep smile in your heart. And it becomes exploring, exploring in, in your heart. Okay? Exploring in your heart. And it, it, it will show up something. Oh, you got attachment to self. You got attachment to desire or whatever. Okay? So calmness first. Okay? Calmness first. Now, just even you open your eyes the whole day, can you see with your self-awareness, people speak bad? What do you awareness inside? It's like uh, uh, anger come up. People speak good, it's like joy come up. Can you see that? Joy and uh, and happiness or even unhappiness that we call sensation. Sensation from desire. Okay? When you got joy, you got desire. Okay? And desire from attachment. Can you see this process in your heart? Okay? Now you can see sometimes you got doubt in your heart. Because the first time you learn, you got doubt. Why I got so many things in my heart? You got doubt. Okay? That is also formation of mind. First you see formation of mind, but more and more you see the process. The process that we call conditioning arising, or we call patija sumupabad. If you can see patija sumupabad, this is Bali word. Okay? This is the central, central idea of Buddha teaching, patija sumupabad. If you can see patija sumupabad, or conditioning arising, you see Dhamma of the Buddha. Dhamma of the Buddha is Paticca Subhapad. Because there is this, there is that, because there is that, there is that, there is that, there is that. Thing not happen by, by, by happen. It come by reason. Because you got good karma, you got that, you got bad karma, you got that in your heart. Can you see Paticca Subhapad? This is Buddhist philosophy. The Buddha enlightened with this thing, seeing clearly why? Why come to this life? Why? Because you got karma and why you suffering? Because you got attachment and why attachment? Because you got desire and why desire? Because you got uh, present feeling, unpleasant feeling or sensation in your heart with present feeling. With present feeling, you like it. Unpleasant feeling, you don't like it. And why you got present feeling? Because your eyes see beautiful things. You got present feeling, you fall in love. And why you got unpleasant feeling? Because your, your ear listens to somebody speak bad to you, you got unpleasant feeling. And when you got unpleasant feeling, you, feel, you, you can see anger come up. And anger come up, you can see attachment come up. Attachment come up, you can see uh, suffering and more suffering come up. You must learn this thing. This is your, your formation of mind. And more you see this formation of mind, you can see conditioning arising because there is uh, uh, pres <coughs> present or unpleasant feeling you got desire because there is desire you got attachment because there is attachment there is suffering okay when you see the whole process okay it not happen by chance or or anybody do it you do it by yourself this is your karma <laughs> You do it by yourself. <laughs> okay, this we call God. You see God. God is the nature. The nature of things depend on each other. Okay? 
depend on each other. Okay? Because there is there is there, there is snow, then is cold, okay? Something like that. Okay? When in, in, in the summer or in the uh, the the hot season, okay? Uh, it's dry or it's very hot because the climate change is nothing happened by chance. It's by karma. Karma of the nature is from you. Okay, <laughs> your karma you make the the climate change. Okay, your karma <laughs> you cannot complain. Okay, your karma. So that's why the Buddha just point inside. Okay, your karma inside make everything. Okay. Uh, you got good karma, you got uh, happiness, you got uh, bad karma, you do something bad. People don't know, but you know, you know yourself, you do something bad. Then you got bad feeling. This we call the law of nature. Uh, the law of nature is God. God is the law of nature. Okay? In Buddhist, we have no di divinity, no. no no deity, no deity. In Buddhist philosophy, no deity. Okay? We believe to the law of nature. We believe to the nature. Okay? The nature because you do by yourself. You do good, good karma. You have, have the result. The result good because you do good. You do bad. The result is bad. This is the karma. The law of karma. The law of karma is God. <laughs> okay? This is the law of karma is God. Okay? You do good, you get good result. You do bad, you get bad result. This is God. Okay? <laughs> you can see this from yourself. Okay? No deity. Outside thing make it, you do yourself. Okay? You do yourself. This is the law of karma and the law of karma. Then you see more and more. The law of karma, the Buddha enlightened. In the law of karma, what is the cause? What is the cause of your feeling Feeling suffering. What is the cause? Because you attach. Attach. Got a lot of attachment. And what is the cause of attachment? Because you you got so much desire. Okay? Uh, and what is the cause of desire? Because you got already present feeling in that or unpleasant feeling in that. Okay? If present feeling you decide to take it. Uh, if not present feeling, you decide not to take it, okay? Not to take it. And why you got a uh, present feeling? Because you got eye contact, ear contact, nose contact, tongue contact. You feel delicious food. So, so, so enjoy beautiful food. When you attach to, when you have joy in beautiful food, one day you don't have beautiful food. You feel disturbed, okay? Because you attach to beautiful food. That, that's why monks have to, uh, cannot choose, cannot choose to eat. Monks have to uh, just uh, uh, live by people, offer. What people offer? I have to eat everything. <laughs> I cannot choose. <laughs> you offer me anything, I, I have to eat. Eat everything, cannot choose, okay? If I choose, I got desire, okay? So now, just today you learn to see your mind with explore, explore. How to explore? Smile first. Smile, then you got eye inside. Smile, you got eye. This is physical eye. This is Dhamma eye. Dhamma eye inside. When you smile, you see something in your heart. When you smile, you can see desire. When you smile, you can see attachment. When you smile, you can see suffering go away. When you smile, you can see the cause of suffering. When you smile, you can see the cause of attachment. When you smile, you can see the cause of desire. When you smile, you can see the cause of uh, present feeling or unpleasant feeling from eye contact, ear contact, tongue contact, nose contact, or body contact. Okay? So, just in daily life, uh, Always see your heart inside. Okay? What you got? You got uh, karma inside. You got good karma, bad karma. And you got conditioning arising. Conditioning arising. There is this, there is that. There is that, there is that, there is that, there is that, there is that. This is the process. It's a chain. Chain. Okay? Chain who hang your, hang your head. <laughs> Cannot... <laughs> 
cannot breathe well because you got suffering inside. Then take the chain out. Take the chain out. See the suffering and the cause of suffering. Okay? See the cause of suffering, then see the end to the cause of see the end to the suffering or the cessation to suffering. And then see the way uh, for the cessation of suffering. The way to cessation of suffering. The way to the end of suffering. The way that is wake up. Wake up now. Uh, the way is wake up. Wake up now. Smile. This is the way to bring your spirit and soul. Wake up from suffering. And wake up, not go anywhere, not traveling with thought. Wake up and obey mindful with good awareness, knowing yourself, seeing yourself, knowing and seeing your body posture, your sitting, your walking, and your eating, your movement, knowing, seeing, your sensation, knowing, seeing, your thought, knowing. You can think. In practice, vipassana, you don't have to stop thinking. You can think, but you must see how you think good or think bad, okay? Knowing, seeing how you think, okay? But first, uh, calmness of thought first. After that, see the calmness. And then see in the calmness, you still got a bit thought, okay? You still got some thought. And just see a bit thought, it become a bit, a bit thought, and less thought, and no thought, and calmness. And it become the light of wisdom. Okay, we finish this session, and we have break for 15 minutes. Satu, satu, satu.